Hi gang! In this video, we're going to draw a basic t-shirt in Adobe Illustrator. Let's get started. All right, I always start by hitting D for default so I can use my white fill and black stroke. We're going to use the pen tool, shortcut P for pen tool. Now when I draw a t-shirt, I don't like to start at the center seam. I start at high point shoulder, and that's where I give my first click with the pen tool. My second click is low shoulder, followed by under the arm, and the hemline. So this is going to be the length of my shirt. Next, I'm going to switch to the anchor point tool. I'm going to go ahead and tear this open just so you can have a visual on it, but I generally will use the shortcut key, which is Shift C. I'm going to grab inside the line segment of the armhole and pull it in a little bit just to get a nice curve to the armhole. And that's half my shirt. I'll switch to the black arrow, shortcut V, select it, click on O to reflect, Alt or Option click on the guide in the center, vertical, copy, and now with the black arrow I'm going to select both sides, right click, join, right click, join. And it's starting to look like a t-shirt, but we need to round the neckline. So back to the anchor point tool, I'm going to click right in the center and drag straight down to curve the neckline. If you'd like to shape it a little differently, you can hold the shift key and you'll get a slightly different shape to it, more of a half circle uh, or an oval if you don't hold the shift key. I'm going to also give a very slight curve to the hem because it makes it look better. Now we are going to select this again. I'm going to copy it, Controller Command C and then paste in back, control or command B for back. Now that I've got the back, I'm going to right click and isolate selected path. Now we're working on the back. I'm going to turn it gray. I am going to grab my anchor point tool again and I'm going to drag the neckline up to where I would like the back neckline to be. And that takes care of the back of my shirt. I'm going to go back to the black arrow and double click in a blank area of the page in order to escape. Now we can do the sleeves. We're going to grab the white arrow. We don't want the one with the plus sign, we want the direct selection tool. And the shortcut is the letter A. I'm going to click on an armhole, copy it, Control or Command C. Paste in front, Control or Command F for front. And then using the pen tool, I'm going to complete my sleeve. So I'm clicking at high point shoulder and I'm just going to continue the shape of the sleeve and make sure I have a closed path. And you want to make sure that the hem of the sleeve is parallel to the hem down there. So if need be, you can do a tiny bit of tweaking here to make sure that the angle feels correct. Oops. So let's go ahead and add some stitches to this before we move on. So we'll add some stitches to the hem of the sleeve. I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer and because it's on an angle, I'm not going to copy paste, but instead I'm just going to grab my pen tool and draw another path for the sleeve, uh, for the stitches. Now you'll notice when I'm holding my um, pen tool over this path that's selected, it's giving me the plus sign means it's telling me it wants to add an anchor point and I don't want to do that. So in order to avoid adding an anchor point, I am going to hold down my shift key, which is going to change that to an asterisk and allow me to start a new line. So we're going to start it right over here, just a little bit above our hemline. I'm holding the shift key and I'm going to click and then I can release the shift key and click on the other side and we'll change that to stitches. Now I've got a graphic style with stitches already set up so I can do it with one click, but if you don't have one, what you're going to do is go to the stroke panel, change your line weight to 0.25, make sure the caps and corners are set to round, you'll turn on your dash line, and I've got mine set to 2.2 point, but let's make a different one. Let's make it one point tab one point and we want to make sure that this is the icon that is checked 
And also for stitches, we want to make sure that there is no fill. So we're going to get rid of that fill. And if you like what you have set up, you can go make your own graphic style. We'll click on graphic styles, click on new, and we'll label this one point stitches. All right, let's move on. I can hit enter to release my pen tool. And now that this one sleeve is complete, I'm going to group it together. So with the black arrow, I'm going to select the sleeve and the stitches, right click, group. Now that it's grouped together, we can reflect it neatly to the other side. We'll select O is the shortcut to reflect, Alt or Option click on your guide, vertical, copy, and there is the other sleeve. Why don't we go ahead and add stitches on the hemline as well. Again, I could take my white arrow, select this, copy, paste in front, and use my arrows on my keyboard to nudge it up a little bit. But there's a problem doing it this way sometimes, and that is when we zoom in close, we can see that because of the angle of the shirt, this piece sticks out a little bit. And in order to fix it, what we need to do is add an anchor point in a little bit and then delete the anchor point at the end in order to not change the shape of this path. I think that's a few too many clicks and I'd rather not do it that way. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo this and we're gonna do it a little differently. Oops, let's get back to my shirt. Instead, I'm just gonna grab my pen tool and I'm gonna click on one side at the height that I want it, hold my shift key and click on the other side where it crosses my path. And then again, with the anchor point tool, I'm just gonna shape it to match the hem of my shirt. And since this is the way we created the hem in the first place, the lines are gonna be beautifully parallel. Then we can click on our graphic style for the stitches. All right, let's do one more thing. Let's go ahead and put a little bias on the neckline. So we will go ahead and zoom in just a little bit. I'm going to take my pen tool and once again, we're going to draw a line to divide. So we are going to start over here and it's really important to make sure that I am highlighting or that I'm on this line. So we'll click there to add our first point. And then I'm going to hold the shift key and make sure that I overlap in exactly the same place and intersect on this line. And now let's hit D for default since we were on stitches and that's why we got stitches just now. We'll grab the anchor point tool and we're going to drag it down so that we have a nice even piece all the way across. We want to get rid of this fill, and I just happen to have a no fill graphic style here. And this looks pretty good. Maybe we'll move it down just a tiny bit more. And now with the pen, the black arrow, we'll select both the shirt and the line. We can grab the shape builder tool. And if we just click right here inside this line, it'll divide. Now there's a problem because I think I might've grabbed the back of the shirt as well. So I'm gonna do this by clicking on this line, hold the shift key and click here to make sure I didn't accidentally select the back of the shirt. We'll grab the shape builder tool. We'll give it one click and that will divide it. And now I can take this piece right here. Whoops, did you divide? There we go. We're gonna hit D for default to give it a fill. And let's add stitches as well. I'll grab my pen tool. I'm going to click right here, hold my shift key, click on the other side where it intersects. Oops. There we go. We're going to grab the anchor point tool, curve that line. So again, it's parallel with the other lines that we have been drawing and a consistent width all the way across. And then we can go ahead and select our stitches, which removes the fill and adds the correct stitching. Now we just need to do the same for the back. And for that, it would be helpful to know where this line is. So I'm going to click up in my ruler here. And if you don't have your rulers on, Command or Control R will turn on your rulers. We're going to drag this down so I know where the spot is where I want this to start. 
And now let's double click to isolate the back of the shirt. And what I mean by that is I'm clicking just on the back part, double clicking, and it's gonna isolate it, bring it into isolation mode. And now we can do that same path, but we've got our guide here. So we're gonna click over here, hold the shift key, click on this side. We're gonna grab the anchor point tool and curve it. And now we know that this is gonna match the other side. We just wanna make sure it's a nice consistent line. Let's get rid of the fill so we can see a little better what we're doing. And now we're gonna select both pieces, grab the shape builder tool and click. And it just so happens that I've got a gray fill here as well. So we'll fill it with that. We're gonna add the stitches which are gonna go up just a little bit. Shift and up on the side. And we'll go ahead and drag those down and add our stitches. And you'll notice I went over this end just a tiny bit here and did what I pointed out that doesn't look really good. So in this case, what I can do is grab that point there and delete it. So I'm just gonna select that anchor point and hit delete on my keyboard and it resolves that problem. We'll zoom back out. And now if I grab my black arrow, I can double click anywhere on the page to exit isolation mode. And there is my basic t-shirt. Now we built it this way because it's gonna be particularly easy to do the back view now. All I need to do is select all of this and I'm gonna group it together, right click, group. And now I'm going to move it out of the way. So I'll hold my alt or option key and just click and drag it out of the way. And we'll turn this one into the back. To create the back, we're going to go into isolation mode by double clicking on the shirt. And now all we have to do is delete all the pieces we don't need on the back. So we'll click on the front bodice and hit delete on my keyboard. We'll grab the stitches in the front and the trim in the front. And now we are back to a plain t-shirt. We just need to change some of these things back to white. So we'll do that. And now I can double click to exit. And we have got our lovely t-shirt front and back. Nice, simple, easy to draw. And I hope you learned something. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up or add a little comment. I'd love to hear from you. And thanks for watching.